بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایم ڈاکٹر محب الوزیر آئی گیو یو دی پراپر کانسیپٹ آف دی کانٹرنس آف دا ایکزیلا وید ریلیشن نو لوک اگین اور ہیر پلیس دس ایز دی پیکٹورس میجر اینڈ دین دس یو کن سی پیکٹورس مائنر دس ایز دی سب کلیویس اینڈ اور ہیر یو نو ایز دی کلیوی پیکٹورل فیشیا اینڈ In this space, when you remove the clavicular fascia over here, between the clavicle and subclavicular bow and upper border of pectoralis minor, in this area, you will see some structures. Most medially over here, you will find the axillary vein. Look, this is the axillary vein. And just lateral to the axillary vein, you will see the axillary artery at this area the axillary vein will receive the cephalic vein and then just later to the axillary artery you will see the three cords of the brachial plexus this is lateral cord this is medial cord and this is posterior cord these three cords over here are arranged like that The medial cord may be lying posterior to the artery and the two may be lying superior lateral while in other way all the three may be lying superior lateral is in this case or in this body. So over here in this gap when you clean the scrapicular fascia you will see most medially the axillary vein then the axillary artery and then the three cards of brachial passage this is the lateral one this is the medial one uh, this is the posterior one. And this is the medial one or the medial one may be lying posterior to the axillary artery and the two may be lying superior laterally. Then inferior to the pectoralis minor in the axilla over here in this part. Note the part again. Look. Look over here please. Look in this area. In this area. Look. Look. Look, look, this is the curaco brachialis muscle and then this is the biceps and posterior to the biceps is the brachialis and note, look again, this is the curaco brachialis, this is the biceps and over here is the brachialis, note over here please. Again, note, this is the Coraco Brachialis, make it very clear, and this is the biceps. Look, just meter to the Coraco Brachialis, you follow, this is the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. It gives musculocutaneous branch. The musculocutaneous branch, it gives branch to the Coraco Brachialis, and then pierces the coracobrachialis over here lies the musculocutaneous it first supplies the coracobrachialis then pierces it and comes to lie between the biceps and brachialis supplies both of them and then become the lateral cutaneous of the forearm the musculocutaneous supplies the b b c biceps brachialis and coracobrachialis and then medial to the Look, medial to coracobrachialis, look, you can see this is the median nerve, which is formed by the lateral root from the lateral cord and medial root from the medial cord, which clasp the axillary artery. And this is the median nerve and lies now later to the axillary artery and then later to the brachial artery. And then, look, most medially over here you can see again the axillary vein and then the brachial vein between the axillary vein and the axillary artery between the two between the two the axillary artery and axillary vein you will find two nerves lying one upon the other the superficial one is the medial cutaneous one of the forearm and the deeper one is the ulnar nerve. In this way, look, the curaco brachialis, 
the musculocutaneous, the median nerve, the axillary artery, and then the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm, and deep to that is the ulnar nerve, and medial to that is then the axillary vein. And most medial to the axillary vein is the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, which is being joined by the intercostal brachial nerve. Okay. Then you follow, look, the median nerve, look, the median nerve lies later to the axillary artery, then it lies later to the brachial artery, and then it crosses, then it crosses the artery, they've shown not it properly over here. And then the median nerve, it crosses the brachial artery from lateral to medial. And in the cubital fossa over here, above, the median nerve is lateral. Then it lies anterior. And then in the cubital fossa, it lies medial. And the artery lies lateral. And then most laterally over here lies the radial nerve. Okay. The same, you see it over here. Look. This is the coracobrachialis, this is the bicep musculocutaneous, and then this is the median nerve, this is the axillary artery, lies lateral, then it crosses anterior, and then in the cubital fossa, now the median nerve is medial to the brachial artery, and the brachial artery is lateral. The median nerve do not give any branch till this point, it gives then branches over here to the superficial group of muscles. The ulnar nerve you can see over here, that lies between the brachial axillary artery and axillary vein then the brachial artery and brachial vein then the ulnar nerve leaves the ulnar nerve then leaves the anterior compartment and then it passes posteriorly and comes to lie over here from behind the medial epicondyle note the point the ulnar nerve comes to lie behind the medial epicondyle and then again enters into the flexor anterior compartment well, the radial nerve, look the point, the radial nerve, look, look, again, again, this is the radial nerve, this is the medial nerve, this is the axillary artery, this is the medial cutaneous of the arm, this is the ulnar nerve, this is the medial cutaneous of the forearm. The, the, when you lift all the structures deep to the axillary artery, over here, you will find the, uh, the posterior cord. Posterior cord lies posterior to the axillary artery. And over here, when you lift this axillary artery and lift the median nerve and lift the medial cutaneous of the forearm and lift the medial cutaneous of the arm, when you lift all the structures, deep to it, you will find the posterior cord and the branches of the posterior cord, that is the axillary nerve, the upper and lower uh, subscapular nerve and then the radial nerve you will see all these branches of the brachial plexus and also the thoraco dorsal nerve okay while the radial nerve then passes then passes it gives branches to the the heads of the the the, the tricep and then the important point is that then the radial nerve comes from the medial to the posterior and again it runs in this radial group and then again comes anteriorly and in the cubital fossa it lies over here just medial to the brachio radialis muscle this is general concept of the nerves and the arteries of the axilla and the arm thank you very much